I, I do want to say one thing on behalf of uh, both my wife uh, and on behalf of Karen Centorum and on behalf of uh, Ann Romney, and that is I think Robert De Niro is wrong. I think the country is ready for a new first lady, and he doesn't have to describe it in racial terms. It has nothing to, to, to these are fine ladies as, as, as in Michelle Obama, but this is not about the first lady. It's about the president. And that's where De Niro missed the whole point. De Niro is rich enough, he probably doesn't notice the price of gasoline. He's successful enough, he probably doesn't notice the unemployment rate. And as a Hollywood actor, he may well be short-sighted enough, he hasn't seen what the deficit's going to do to our children and our grandchildren. But what De Niro said last night was inexcusable, and the president should apologize for him. It was at an Obama fundraiser. It is exactly wrong. It divides the country. And if people on the left want to talk about radio talk show hosts, then everybody in the country ought to hold the president accountable when somebody at his event says something is utterly, totally unacceptable, as Robert De Niro said last night. And I call on the president to apologize for him. I have a personal preference, obviously, for Callista to be the first lady. But, but I'll tell you, I'd also be very proud and very honored to have Ann Romney as the first lady or Karen Santorum as the first lady. I think that's just what De Niro said was just beyond the pale, and he should be ashamed of himself. Now, the president attacked me indirectly, not by name, but certainly attacked I'm the only person talking about 250 a gallon gasoline, so it's fair to say he was attacking me on his radio show Saturday, which is like the sixth time he's attacked me. Mr. Axelrod, his campaign manager, attacked me by name on Sunday. So let me just say to the president, I will be glad to debate him anywhere, anytime. <laughs>